Hello YouTube! I'm Frogman Forever, and welcome to another brand new Let's Play. This time it's Super Monkey Ball 2, released for the Nintendo GameCube. Let's jump right in. Uh, I don't know why I'm playing this one either. <laughs> well, I mean, for one, it's fun. But I've never beaten the game, and don't expect me to beat it this time around either. I'm going to play as far as I possibly can uh, until I get sick of the game. Hopefully that's beating it, but I... <laughs> Once you get to those later levels, oh boy, does this game get difficult. So, whew, we'll see how far I can get. The farthest I've ever gotten was, I believe, in World 7. I think there's like 10 or even 12 worlds, so I, I might have just only gotten like past halfway in this game. But it's pretty tough. And then after I play some of the main game, um, I'll probably do some bonus videos where I just showcase the, uh, the uh, mini games that the game has to offer. Because those are really fun. I used to play this game a lot uh, with my sisters, with my bro I think my brother might have played it occasionally, but m mostly my sisters and my cousins. Um, fun, fun party game back in the glory days of the GameCube. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people disagree and don't really care for the GameCube, but I love the GameCube. It's not my favorite console, but it's one of them. It's up there. It's probably top three. Uh, anyway, let's jump right in. We're going to play the main game. Why am I doing this? Oh, jeez, why am I doing this? All right, well, let's jump right in. So we're going to do story mode. Are we really going to watch the cutscenes? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, so I'm going to start this uh, new file here. Uh, oh, I guess I better put in a name if it lets me. It's, uh, well, we're Frogman. How many characters we got? One, two. Hmm. Do. Hmm. Frog. Man, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, back, are there numbers, do they give me numbers, oh, they do, okay, four, ever, <laughs> that'll do, alright, here we go, yeah, I'm sure, here we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll try not to comment too much of those cutscenes because <laughs> uh, uh, some of them are a little silly, but it's a silly game. It's a fun. It's a fun game. I, I'll, I'll be honest. It's fun. It's it's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> so let's jump right in. Um, we have so uh, for every world you have how many is this? Ten. Ten levels. Yeah. Um, and you can complete them in any order you want. Of course, they'll have the difficulty there. I used to like to try to complete the difficult ones first, but I think I want to try to play these in order. <laughs> uh, let's jump right in. Uh, this is Super Monkey Ball. The most frustrating thing about this game is that sometimes you just want the damn monkey to get out of the ball and do what it needs to do. It doesn't have to be in the ball. Like, they're not in the ball in the cutscenes. 
Why do they have to be in the ball for the challenges? Did Dr. Badboon say, also, I'm forcing you to be in the ball to complete these challenges? No, he didn't. He said, just complete the mazes and you'll get your bananas back. But the monkeys had to insist on putting themselves in the freaking ball. So, anyway, that's where we are. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to rant a little bit, but you're going to hear me complain about it multiple times, I'm sure, as the uh, Let's Play progresses. So, yeah, that's level one. It's called Simple. I think it's called, what it was called? What was it called? I don't remember. Well, it was, I think it was called Simple, but it was called Simple for a reason. All right, this one's called Hollow. Also not very difficult. Yep, that's all you're doing. You're guiding the monkey in a ball to the goal. That's the premise of the game here. Now, obviously, the mazes get more difficult, more challenging. It's gonna, it's gonna be frustrating. Uh, it actually doesn't take too long to get frustrating either. But we'll see how far we can get. Now, this one, this first episode is probably gonna be a little longer, just because. We had the opening cutscene, and I'm introducing the Let's Play and all that stuff. But um, I'll try to keep the keep the episodes to about 10 to 10 to 20 minutes. We'll see how that goes. So bumpy here, getting really bumpy, bumping the night, bumpity bumpity bump. So obviously you can get bananas to like boost your score, but I'm not going for high score, I'm just going for completion here. Nothing fancy, just play the game and just uh, en en enjoy and relax with the easy levels while you have a chance, because they're going to pick up. So that's simple enough. Alright, switches. Uh, I, I think, okay, for switches, sometimes there's like a switch in the back, you can kind of see it. Obviously, this switch is going to open up that bridge that wasn't there before. If you don't hit it, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to skip this bridge because, uh, well, you don't really... Did I say bridge? I'm going to skip that switch because there's really no point in hitting it. You just walk right to the ending. Uh, again, you have all the time available to, like, boost your score. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Now, that's kind of important. Like, you want to collect as many bananas as possible. Like, what happened? Okay, I thought the game froze for a second. Uh, yeah, you want to collect as many banana, banana, bananas, bananas as possible when you're first playing the game because you know you want to unlock all those mini games and one player mode is a good opportunity for you to collect those. Oh snap! I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, but uh, hold on. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those where you kind of have to get it from the start. I'll just die on purpose. Who cares? <laughs> we show a replay. But uh, since I've already uh, unlocked all the mini games, there's no point in me getting a high score here. I'm just gonna burst through the game as fast as I can. So uh, the best way to beat this level is just to go straight fast. I don't know how you're supposed to get past that conveyor belt if you're not already just like taken off from the very beginning. But I don't know. I'm sure people could do it, but not me. I, <laughs> I'm just gonna burst right through. That's the best way I can think of doing it. <laughs> the floaters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here, you know, if you want to collect more bananas, you can get on those platforms and you know, mess around. But oh snap! <laughs> well, you don't want to hit the post. Just walk right through. Goal! Cool. All righty. Next up, what do we got? Slopes. Going up the slopes. Going down the slopes. However you see it fit you. Alright. This is easy. I mean, they're all... First world, easy. I mean, I, you don't have to go up that slope, but it's fun. The thing is, like, the ball is like... When, if you play the game... If you've never played the game... Alright, if you've never played the game before... <laughs> It's basically like the ball feels like heavy. Like it feels like you're like you're in a bowling ball, not a bubble. It's a bowling ball. Like that's how heavy the the ball feels. Yes, the game, the controls, it makes you feel like you're lugging around this huge freaking ball. <laughs> um, it's hard to describe unless you play it. But those of you who have played this game, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, sliders. I don't remember this one that well. Let's just go down the slide. 
don't remember if there's a life count. I think you can play as long as you want. Woo! And of course, you, you have to complete it before the time runs out, but again, on these early levels, you can take your time and you'll be fine. Some people try to, like, just burst through this. It's a Sega game, and I know Sega is, well, popular. Well, Sonic is popular from Sega, so maybe that's kind of what they were going for, something where you can kind of play it fast-paced, but, yeah. Yeah, I forgot that last drop is kind of, uh, it's more vertical than you think, so, yeah, if you're going too fast, you're gonna, you're gonna fall. I mean, honestly, there's no reason to, like, rush through this level. You, like I said, there's plenty of time, so... But yeah, the, the, the drops, uh, they do get a little more uh, steep as, as you progress. Alright, this is where I died last time, because I was going really fast. But again, just, just drop, you got plenty of time. I think this is the last one, so as long as you stay straight, you'll be fine. There you go. Alright. It's nice that it saves after every game, so you, you never have to <laughs> worry about saving it. You don't have to worry about clearing all of them within a certain amount of lives. The game's generous in that way, at least. At least you get like as many lives as you need to to complete it. It's like it's like they're aware. That, hey, this is a really difficult game, so like they know people are gonna get really frustrated if they're limited to lives. All right. Anyway, spin and top. Here we go. I don't think this one's that difficult. You just basically have to avoid the spinning top because it'll knock you the freak off the stage. So, yeah, nothing too, nothing too fancy here. Just World One stuff. Nothing, not a whole lot to talk about. Now, I don't know if you can see on the map on the bottom right. It shows the bananas that are on the top. I don't know who the heck would like waste the effort to try to grab those bananas. At least not intentionally. <laughs> um, I'm certainly not gonna, not gonna bother with it, but. Hey, if you <laughs> more power to you if you want to give it a shot. Not for me, not for me. I'm not falling for that trap. All right, Kirby Bridge. All right, this one's gonna be a little trickier. Although it only says two difficulty, maybe it's not that bad. Don't tell me this is not that bad, and then it ends up being bad. We'll see. It looks like just a basic guide, it you know, but. It says level 2. I would think it'd be a little higher than 2 in, in the difficulty. I mean, I, yeah, I get that this is like a large, um, you know, pathway. I mean, you got you got plenty of room, but, you know, when you're just adjusting to the controls to the first, the controls, the, the controls for the first time, it, it's, uh, you gotta, it's not, it's not a level 2. It's, I'd, I'd maybe put it a little higher up there. But then again, I guess it's a 2 when you compare it to all the other levels you're gonna deal with in the game, so. I guess that makes sense. But you had some other ones earlier that had higher difficulty than this one. And they weren't that bad. Alright, here I think you could die if you don't time it well, yeah. I'm not worried about the time, I think we still got time. Oh, except that I fell off. <laughs> yeah, I have to wait for the thing to come back. Yeah, let's retry. Let's at least try to finish World 1 here. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm trying to get through this a little quicker so I don't have to worry about the time so much. I wasn't really worried before. I just I I thought I honestly thought that that thing was going to fall back a lot quicker than it did the first time. So All right. So I think I don't know if you noticed, but there's there's basically this platform and there's another platform, and you have to time it so that you can fall in. You don't want to go too soon. I think now is a good time to go. I'm probably gonna drop, but as long as I don't fall off, I'll be fine. The idea, or the the thing, is not to move too much. Keep your cool and stay on here. Yeah, so fine. Yeah, I'll move at the pace that I want to move. You don't tell me to hurry up. I'll, I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Alright, well that was Curve Bridge. I thought that was a little more difficult than level 2. Especially since you drop off the- oh, here's cutscene, sorry. I know everyone wants to see their cutscenes. Oh, 
Oh, he'll give her the banana. Yeah, yeah, woo. Yeah, yeah, woo. Alright. I, I try not to talk during the cutscene, so sorry if that bothered anyone, but... I figured no one was talking, so maybe I can kind of sneak in something. And and how can you resist? I mean, come on. <laughs> Alright. So this is World 2, Volcanic Magma. <clears throat> I will continue this on the next video. Thank you so much for those who of you who stuck around and watched this first episode. I know it was mostly cutscenes and introductions and all that stuff, but we'll jump right in uh, next time around. I hope to see you all guys next time. You all take care. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>